Ahoy hoy. Welcome to Gavin's Grotty Guitars this week. Is it grotty? Normally I look at cheap nasty off brands. Um, not the big names, but if you zoom in here, yeah it says Fender. So this is, I think if I remember rightly it's a 98 98 Mexican Fender Telecaster. Um, interesting for a couple of things. I bought it in Stirling, Scotland. Second hand, I believe it was about 200 quid. Because I thought I'd got to a stage where I deserve a real Fender instead of weird knockoffs and save from the dump guitars. Let's see what a real one's like. And I got this. Um, as always, like with buying cars, make sure you look at them in the right light, not in dingy guitar shops. Because if I had done, I would have noticed that the frets have been Ugh, replaced they've frets 13 upwards have super glue all over them um why i hopefully i'll take a photo of it so you can see Why? If a fret's come out, yeah. Super glue is a great way, using a clamp, uh, a hammer or what have you, of getting them back in. But then your very next move is to get a piece of paper and wipe it away. And when it's dried, you get a, a razor blade and you chip away at it until there's no sign of it left. You don't leave it there like a child's runny nose. Anyhow, this is real Fender. These real Fender Mexican pickups, I presume. Never even looked them up. A more modern bridge. It doesn't have the sides to it. So you can have the, uh, what do they call it, the ashtray top. I changed the scratch plate to black from white because it looked a bit cooler. Let's see how it sounds. Interesting. Um, I feel a bit better about it than I did when I first bought it, but not a lot better. I, the pickups feel a bit lifeless to me. Um, if you've watched the Rastercaster one, you will have seen the um, iron gear pickups in there, which surprised the living daylights out of me. really should be sitting in there, one of them. I don't know what I was expecting when I bought this. I think perhaps I was 
keeping Fender and Gibson and PRS psychologically in a higher plane and these must be the world's most perfect guitars. They must be something quite different and golden and taste like ambrosia. And the fact is, this isn't. It's just a guitar. It's got the right name on it. It's put together well. It's got a good weight to it. Because that's what we care about with guitars, isn't it? But there's... It's not right for me. There's nothing spicy. There's no arm calves. There's no beautiful sounding pickups. The neck is a guitar neck. Um, I'm sad to say it's... As the meme says, this does not bring me joy. If I needed a telecaster for something, I'll take this along and do my hair. Mexican Telecaster. If you like your Telecasters and you find one cheap, go for it. Um, as per usual, it's all horses for courses. As it is a Fender Telecaster, I probably won't do any more fiddling to it. I'll just um, wait until the job covering and taking over from Steve Cropper turns up and um, I'll wear this and turn up at the door. Let me know what you think below. By all means call me out on saying Telecasters are not great. I don't mind. Until next time, toodle pip. Given the journalism that was done by the newspapers and